Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Banks, and welcome to Bankable Health Tips. This is a show we provide you with the latest information on health topics that affect you. Today, we're going to conclude our series on contraception and talk about the contraceptive patch and the vaginal ring. So let's get started. These types of birth control are very similar. They're both hormonal birth control that contains both estrogen and progesterone. They are reversible, but they do not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. They work very similar to the birth control pill in that they prevent your ovaries from making an egg every month, as well as thicken the cervical mucus that makes it difficult for the sperm to reach the egg. And finally, they thin out the lining of the uterus so that if an egg does get fertilized, it would have a difficult time attaching. So let's talk first about the vaginal ring. The vaginal ring, and this is actually one, it's just a little round plastic ring that you insert inside your vagina just like a tampon. You insert it in, you leave it in for 21 days, at the end of 21 days, you take it out for seven days, and during that seven day period is when you get a period. It's very easy to insert it. Here is a model of the female anatomy. This is a sample ring. The one you get from the pharmacy won't have a string, but I have this here so I don't lose it. Basically, you can fold this ring anywhere you want to and just insert it inside the vagina and it's in. It's just that easy. And when it's time to take out, you just insert your finger, hook the ring, and pull it out. The ring has several benefits, very similar to the pill. It can help reduce pain with periods, it can make your periods lighter and shorter and definitely more regular. And it also can be used continuously, as we mentioned, where if you decide you don't want to have a period, just simply keep inserting the ring and never have a week off where you don't have a ring inside. The ring also has risk, also very similar to the pill, in that it can increase your risk of blood clots, can also increase your risk of heart attacks and stroke, as well as gallbladder disease and liver tumors. And just like the pill, if you're over 35 and smoke, then this form of birth control is not right for you. Side effects of the ring include vaginal infection or irritation, vaginal discharge, headaches, weight gain, and nausea. But these usually resolve on their own as your body adjusts to the hormones in the ring. Moving on to the patch. The patch is a small adhesive that's worn on the skin. Typically, with a patch, you wear it for a week at a time. In other words, you change it every week for three weeks, and after the third week, you leave the patch off, and that's when you have your period. The benefits of the patch are very similar to the ring and the pill. One, it helps reduce pain with periods, can make your periods lighter and shorter and more predictable, and can be used continuously, as we mentioned before. The risks are also very similar in that being on the patch can increase your risk of blood clots, as well as your risk for heart disease and stroke. And as with the ring and the pill, if you're over 35 and smoke, this birth control is not right for you. It also can increase your risk of gallbladder disease and certain types of liver tumors. The side effects of the patch include nausea, headache, and skin irritation from the adhesive due to the patch itself. Well, this concludes our series on contraception. I hope that you find this information very useful and helpful in making your decision about which birth control is right for you. Thank you for tuning in to Bankable Health Tips and stay tuned for our next series on menopause. I'm Dr. Tracy Banks and remember, be healthy.